So Damien went to the coffee shop traveling 25 miles per hour and returned home traveling 10 miles per hour. If the total trip took 7 hours, how long did Damien travel at each speed? So we have to know um, a little bit about distance and rate. So distance is equal to rate times time. I like to set up a little table with these to help me organize everything. So he went to the coffee shop and then he went home. So to and from. And distance is equal to rate times time. And the rate is how fast he was going. So when he went there, he was going 25 miles per hour and back he was going 10. And the total trip, so we can add another one for total. The total trip took seven hours. So we don't know how long it took him to get there, so we'll just call that t. But if you subtract t from seven, so seven minus t, that'll give us how many hours um, it took him to go home. Um, because, for example, say it took him three hours to get to the coffee shop, then it would only have taken four to get back home. Because three plus four is seven. So you just subtract the other one from seven. That's probably the hardest part of it right there, is understanding setting up this t. Now the distance, d, is going to be the same because he's going to a coffee shop and back. They're both the same. So that gives us our equations because um, these are both going to be equal. We get 25t for one distance, and that's going to be the same as 10 times 7 minus t. So we distribute. And we get 25t is equal to 70 minus 10t. And then we can add 10t to both sides. And that gives me 35t equals 70. So if we divide both sides by 35, we get that t is 2 hours. So it took him 2 hours to get to the coffee shop. That's a pretty far away. And then 7 minus 2 would be 5 hours to go back home.